Wow, Tesla stocks have crashed down 10% in one day. It's now down almost $40 from the peak. What do you think happened there? See, this is all because Tesla reported earnings yesterday. And you would think, oh, well, you know, maybe disappointed with their earnings. But actually, no, Tesla actually beat earnings estimates and it also beat revenue estimates. So it came in better than expected on both fronts. But then why did prices actually go down? Well, that's because Tesla said that it's not going to hit its quarter three or well, the upcoming factory delivery demands because they're doing some, uh, you know, major maintenance on their factories. If, see, even small news like this can cause Tesla to tank so much, even though it's beating revenue, beating sales and beating earnings estimates. This is what I've been warning about all this time. See, about two weeks ago, I warned in my Discord that Tesla, for example, is having a major top coming around the 290 to 300 area. Tesla can probably be a good short around this 300 area. Why did I pick this 300 area? Well, that's because from a technical perspective, we can see that Tesla has been traveling in this downward channel, right? And basically this top of the range hits exactly around 300. So I thought it was gonna go up to 300 and then pull back from 300. I didn't know what the earnings was gonna be. And that's how technical analysis works sometimes. You don't even need to know what the news is. You just know that at a certain price point, markets will have a big reaction, whether that's a major support level and it'll bounce or a major resistance level and it'll pull back. For going forward, I think Tesla is gonna find some support around the 248, 249 level because that's significant support for Tesla. And this is as I've been warning for the last two weeks about a general healthy pullback in overall tech stocks, right? Because the sentiment is getting to into this nearly extreme greed territory. And here is an update of that chart. Now we've gone even further into this extreme greed territory. Now, none of this is to say that this is the top for US stocks, right? As you guys all know, who's been following me, I've been saying there will be a big bounce or even a small bull in the US stock market and in crypto Bitcoin for this year. And that video, that signal came out in early January. But what happens next with the US stock market? See, here are the most crowded trades on Wall Street today, right? Long big tech, right? Something like almost 60% of US funds are doing this. Long US big tech, such as Meta, Tesla, you know, uh, Apple, Google, those companies. And then long Japanese stocks and short Chinese stocks. What all this means is that there should be a reversal on these really crowded trades. So that means US stocks pull back, Japanese stocks pull back, and Chinese stocks bounce up.